lot of fan anticipation for this one, and rightfully so. A really interesting matchup, and a lot of people focused on this kickboxer trying to make a real concerted run at UFC Gold. Yeah, he's trying to make a run in a championship. We have seen him compete at the highest level in kickboxing and done very, very well. But how does he implement that fight style in the mixed martial arts? We're going to find out very soon if he can do everything he did there inside the UFC's office. Certainly in our fighter meeting, he talked a lot about his wrestling and grappling improvements, but he knows what the fans want to see, and that is to see him striking against this opponent here tonight. With that, I'm getting anxious. Both fighters have raced the octagon, ready to go here from a sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Alan Bromacho Herb Dean, Ready, our referee fight? for this Ready. one. All right, round one is underway for Alan Joban. No shortage of first-round finishes on his resume. He's very aggressive. He only knows one direction, that is forward. We'll see if Alan Joban can add to that total of first-round finishes on the road here tonight. Early round action here. Captain Hook lands on the kickboxer. Beautifully timed and placed there. And a strong way to start on the feet. Kickboxers love the high guard. The way to fight the high guard is to throw things around the side. That hook is a very good shot that can land against a guy with that tight high guard. Oh, man. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Look at the turnover in that kick. Keep your hands up. Use your now. It's okay. Use your what a great job using the offhand to dictate the pace of the fight. So more output, at least in the early going. Oh, nice jab by Joban. Just misses with the left hook. Guess the single collar tie now. Effective punch from the clinch there by the Korean Super Bowl. I will no surprise the striker has come out at his aggressive best here early, really throwing everything with fight ending intentions. He's throwing everything to end the fight, and he has to, because the longer this fight goes, his opponent has the advantage. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Nice head kick gets through. Just out of the range with that right hand. Great shot blocked by the opponent. Oh, nice. Nice. Inside. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. Under two minutes now to go in round one. 
Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Real quick leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going to him. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. 30 seconds to go. Oh, yeah, he's hurt really bad. Twenty seconds to go in round one. All right, well, he made no bones about his game plan. He was gonna attack the body, and he does so effectively yet again there. Well, how about the discipline? How about the discipline to stay the course, to not rush, to not go head on it, knowing that down the line, all these body shots will pay off for him. And now you can see it starting to happen. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. And there's a kick to the body, not having that one. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Straight to the body there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And there's that jab. Big roundhouse attempt, just misses. That could have been lights out. And he blocks the shot there. Great punch. Three minutes to go in round two. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, with authority, the body. Man, that is loud. Another strike.
strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight. He he found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Joe Band's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise started to form on that right side. Two minutes to go. That's a big strike right there. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Joban gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Nice block. Punch went nowhere. Now, looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Under a minute now to go round two. Oh, beautifully placed with the hook there by Jobin. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, so that calf really starting to show signs of bruising. He's got to address it now. He's got to start to check these kicks. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Chobe. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Seconds winding down in round two. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter. But he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. You ready to fight? You ready? Third yeah. round underway. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level mixed martial arts. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, Every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Well, you know, oh, he's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Shot land. Yeah. 
Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Choban's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Under three minutes now to go in the round. There's his jab. Joe Band circling now towards the left. Oh, inside kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked on the Anderson Silva situation. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Beautiful kick lands there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Joe Band's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there, nasty. Oh, nice job to block that punch. Looking to land the leg kick now. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Less than a minute to go in the round. Straight right hand now just misses. Collar tie here in the clinch. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there, and not gonna help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Oh, nice jab, nice stick. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Joe Band's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Oh, he's got hand skills for days. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. Oh, Three rounds in the can, we're headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out to way too many situations. Ready. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets under. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Joe Band's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. He did a great job of blocking that punch. Now he lands a solid punch. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's make it close. Stay well, close. getting harder to watch, right? Continuing to badger that calf area. The bruising looks bad. The bruising looks bad. He keeps going there, as he should. He should not stray away from landing these slow calf kicks. Joe Band going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Defensively responsible, nice block. Oh, 
Well, just as he did in the previous round. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Unable to connect with a right hook. He's hurt bad. He's cut. Look to the head there by Chobin. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Missed on the right hand. Once you get to take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the taker. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice strike. does not look good, folks. We'll continue to keep an eye on it. And you gotta think the ringside physician will, too. Referee might call him in here in short order. I need you to fight back. Oh, effective strike from the clinch there by Chor. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can, seems like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. The official decision is in here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 49 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Super Boy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big